Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 24 Hotel Management System in Laravel. And in this video, we are going to work with chart.js. Okay. Actually, we are going to show the bookings in the form of a line chart. Okay. So in this admin that we are using, uh, that I have already explained that from uh, which resource we are using this admin panel. So in this admin, they are providing us a two uh, two charts. Uh, one is the form in line chart and another is pie chart. So today we will focus on the uh, line chart and we will show the bookings according to the date. Okay, so the first thing we need to fetch the data according to the date. I mean to say we will count the data according to the date, count the bookings according to the date and then we will show that. On the horizontal line we will show the date. On the uh, vertical y-axis you can say we will show the counting. Okay, and they have a they are a <clears throat> the, in this uh, admin panel they are providing lots of things for this uh, line chart i mean to say you can customize this uh, with the background color that what should happen uh, when we will hover on it and uh, how this will uh, how this will be looking and the color and all the things okay so currently we will mainly focus on the data so we need to change two things the first is label that is our uh, x-axis and the another is uh, data that is our y-axis okay so we will focus on the two things okay sorry for the mobile ringtone okay so let's uh, collect the data first and then we will implement this in this uh, chart.js this is already implemented we need to pass the data in this and if you want to explore more chart.js then hey the website chart chartgs.org you can explore more because they have they are providing lots of things in this uh, library okay so let's uh, start with the collecting the data so the first thing so in the dashboard we need the data so we are loading this dashboard via directly via the view from the route so we will change this so what i will do here i will just copy one of the admin uh, controller thing and we will change this with the dashboard okay and in the admin controller we will create the dashboard panel so i will say dashboard okay and here we will uh, load the view admin uh, dashboard so this will be dashboard and in this we need to pass the data okay so let's collect the data first so how we can collect this how we can do that so i let's uh, do this so i will say bookings equal to bookings equal to we need to import the booking model so here we will import this booking model so let's import this so this is booking okay and let's now go to booking here and let's select first of all we need to count the data so what i will do count this will be in comma so count id okay as total bookings comma check in date so this is the field name i hope this uh, i hope you remember this if you go to this database and then here you can see that i have created bookings so two bookings are for the uh, 13 of the september and the another is for 14 okay so uh, where it is let's go for the bookings here you can see that 2 of 13 and uh, 14 okay we will count this as a group first of all we will group that first of all we will count that and then we will group that okay so this is select uh, raw count as this and now what we will do group by and then we will get so we need to we need to define the group by column so i will group by check in date okay and uh, <clears throat> or you can simply say that uh, okay fine this is check-in date okay so let's uh, pass this data for this we need labels and uh, uh, labels and data so let's first i will show you that how what it will show so let's show you bookings and bookings and let's uh, let me show you here okay so this will be bookings 
Oh my god. So, <coughs> so bookings. Yeah. Okay. Let's go here. Refresh this page. So here you can see that total bookings two. Check in at this. Total bookings one. Check in at this. What we need. We can't pass this data as it is in our JavaScript. What we need to do. I will run the loop here. For dollar bookings as dollar booking and in this first of all I will create two array first is for labels and another is for uh, data okay and we will pass this as it is in our array okay and let's pass this and we will also add this data in this uh, array I hope you are understanding all the things. Well, this is very, not very difficult. You will understand easily. Okay, so labels is a check-in date. Okay, this is labels. And the data is, let's say, the data is uh, total bookings. Fine. Now, we need to pass this data. So, this is, un this is external JavaScript. So, how we can pass this data from Laravel to this external JavaScript? What we will do? So where we are loading this chart.js, just before this loading the library, this loading this JS, what we will do? Here we will create the script, another script uh, tag, and in this we will create two variables, labels equal to, and here we will pass JSON and code. We will encode this as JSON, okay, and as keeping the strings, I mean to say double quotes, and here we will pass the dollar labels. Okay, so I hope you are understanding me that what we are doing and this will be data and here it will be data. And now we can, we are ready to pass in our demo. So I will just remove this pass label and I will just pass this data here. Okay, so refresh this page. So it is saying that check-in date, undefined index check-in date. So why it is saying this, uh, where it is, let's go to check-in date, check-in date. This is group by check-in date and uh, everything is fine. Where it is saying this error? Uh, where it is saying, let me see this. this is in it should uh, in the admin controller or this will this will be booking not bookings you understand me that it is a row and this is the all array so that it is saying error okay so now here you can see that so this is showing for the date 13 and this is showing for the date 14 okay now we, we will change just a few things like uh, it is saying that the earnings we will see the bookings okay so it will go here so bookings overview okay, fine and we don't need this uh, drop down it is actually saying this kind of thing we don't need this if you need this then you can keep it as it is and uh, you can perform the functionality okay so we don't need this drop down and in the chart.js we will so here it is saying label earning. So we will say bookings and refresh this. And here you can see that this is two. This is one thing. And one thing more, we are passing the dollar, but we don't need this dollar actually. Okay, we just need the number. So this is two, one, and two. Okay, and this is saying bookings. So we don't need this actually this thing space okay fine so we have in this small video we have implemented this chart.js with the help uh, within a line chart okay in the next section we will implement the pie chart okay I will show you that in this pie chart we will show the bookings according to the room time that which room type has maximum bookings Okay, so that we can get idea from this pie chart. 
okay so i hope you will uh you will enjoy this video and uh, you will like this video please hit the subscribe button and hit the like and uh, please share this and thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much